So hello everybody, welcome to this SUP Border video and this time we're going to be looking at a kid SUP, the Thurzo Surf Prodigy. This is the board that Izzy, my daughter, happened to paddle the SUP camping trip we did this summer. So we've got a lot of experience with this board. If you're looking to get a kid's board for one of your little ones or somebody you know, then definitely this board might be worth you having a look at. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll understand if this board is right for them. So kids sups, there's a lot of kids sups on the market right now and many of you are looking to get a kids sup because obviously you'd love to get most of your kids into paddleboarding. It's great for the whole family but having the kids along as well, it's also great for building their water confidence and just getting out in the outdoors which is only a good thing and we can't encourage enough these days. So this board that we're talking about today is the Thurzo Surf Prodigy. It's a seven foot six board. It's 30 inches wide. It's four inches thick. The volume is 150 liters and it weighs seven kilograms or 15.44 pounds when we weighed it. And it retails at $449 or euros or 399 pounds. So for that price, you get a board, you get a three quick lock fin setup, you get a bag, but you get a three piece carbon nylon paddle, which we'll speak about in a minute, and you get a coiled leash, but you do not get a pump. It is available as an optional extra to buy into on the Thursday website, but they do not supply it as standard with a pump. Now I do like the thinking behind this because many of you are gonna be getting a kid's sup to go alongside your sup. You may already have a pump, and obviously if you can keep the cost down, you don't have to be buying a pump with your kids package. The construction of this board is exactly the same as the other Thurzo boards, except it hasn't got the carbon enhanced rail down the side of the board, still have the woven materials, and there's still two layers of PVC around that board. The recommended PSI pressure for this board is 12 to 15 PSI, but has a maximum pressure of 20 PSI. So again, it shows that you, Thurzo are happy for you to put a lot of pressure into that board and it can take it. But to be honest, for you putting your kids on there, they will not need to pump that board up over 15 PSI. Usually 12 to 15 PSI, like they recommend, is absolutely fine. Moving on to what this board is like to pump up and get onto the water. So the first thing you'll notice is the bag that it comes with. It's not a traditional style backpack bag like you see with many other ice ups in the market. It is a very good quality bag, but it's more of a suitcase style bag with a big opening zip you can open right out, carry handles, but you can't carry it on your back. Now, of course, there will be pros and cons of this. If you want to be carrying your board in a backpack style on your back, then that board will not be adequate. But to be honest, most kids that I've come across won't really be able to carry their SUPs on their back just yet, especially on the age range that this sort of SUP is aiming at. You're probably more likely to be inflating it by the car and carrying it to your paddling location opposed to using it in a backpack, but you will know if that is right or wrong for you. As far as pumping the board up is concerned, obviously it really depends on what pump you're gonna be using, but it's a relatively small board. It's only 150 liters and four inches thick, so you're gonna get all of the air in the board pretty quick. The board inflates with a standard ice up valve that you see in all inflatable boards, so you are gonna put any ice up pump on this board to inflate it. When you've inflated the board, you can turn it over and put the fins on, a really quick and easy system. We've used this system before on many other brands. Thursday I've got this on all of their other boards as well. It's the quick lock fin system, slides in, you can do it one handed, put the little lever down at the back and the fin is locked in. It's a really nice shape fin and it does offer a good amount of performance, probably way more performance than obviously the kids are actually gonna need, but it's a nice fin system and easy to put in. Then you can put your leash on, the nice eight foot coil leash it comes with. It's really color coordinated with the rest of the package. So that's a nice feature. Before you get on the water, you're gonna to have to put together the three piece paddle. Now this is a carbon nylon paddle, very much like the other paddles that come with the other Thurzo Surf packages. But the blade and shaft is a little bit smaller. It's a carbon shaft with a plastic nylon blade. The real advantage of that, you might have heard me say it in other videos, is the plastic nylon blade is virtually bulletproof. You can bang it against rocks, kids can make sandcastles at it, they can treat it and abuse it. Even if they're good with their kit, they're gonna be knocking their paddle blade. So having a plastic nylon is great, especially if you're getting into the sport at a lower level. 
age range of paddler the paddle height is probably appropriate for a 5 to 11 12 year old obviously it depends how tall your 11 12 year old is but definitely for the smaller lighter paddlers it does go short enough for those paddlers the blade shape definitely is a little bit basic and it isn't as refined as some other paddles on the market if you are going to be putting a lighter younger child on it definitely in the four years old five years old or if they're small six years old you're going to be really wanting to get them a little bit of a lighter smaller paddle especially if you're really into paddling yourself if you're only paddling two or three times a year this paddle is going to be absolutely fine but obviously you know what it's like to use a lighter better paddle for your size when it comes to carrying the board onto the water this is definitely one big pro straight away it's got a nice amount of handles handles on the front handles on the back and a nice big handle in the middle if kids are going to be carrying their kit, the chances are they're probably going to be carrying half of their kit. What I mean by that is they'll be using the back half of the board and spinning the board around, maybe pulling it down the beach on the nose to get it into the water. These boards are heavy. Even this one is only at seven kilograms. But if you're asking somebody with little arms to carry a board down to the water is obviously going to be quite hard for them. So having those handles in the front of the back is really handy and of course if they're paddling with a friend they can help each other to get the boards down the water definitely handles at the front and back if you're buying a paddle board for your little one it does make a massive difference when they get on the water the first thing they're going to notice is actually how stable this board is so this board is seven foot six long which is relatively short but it's 30 inches wide we've tested and reviewed lots of other kids subs and a lot of them are around 28 inches wide so a little bit narrower but having a little bit extra width does make the board so much more stable. As I said, it's not that long. Most of the kids' sups on the market are around the eight foot long. This is a little bit shorter. So it's not as fast as other boards, but it's very maneuverable, very easy to turn around. This is definitely one of the pros that Izzy really likes. Unfortunately, she couldn't be involved in this video because she was at school at the moment, but I did ask her over breakfast and she said she really actually liked the maneuverability and how quick it was and easy it was to turn around. The downside to that, obviously, is it means it doesn't go in a straighter line as easy. And as I said before, we did use this board to paddle over 24 miles, I think over three days with Izzy. But if you're gonna be doing longer distances, you can quite easily attach a little tow line from you to them, or you can have a little dangling rope out the back of the board, which will help them go in a bit of a straighter line. But Izzy did really like the fact that it was much more maneuverable than her other boards were. Other shapes to be aware of on the board, you've got a small amount of nose rocker up at the front of the board there, works in a good amount of chop. Obviously the kids probably aren't gonna be paddling in that much rough stuff, but as I said, we did have a mixed bag of conditions when we had our family sup camping trip and the board handle itself absolutely fine. There's bungees on the front of this board, which is still great because a lot of the kids still want to take stuff with them, whether it's a snorkel set, whether it's their shoes, a drinks bottle, it's just nice to have that bungee system at the front there. And it's still big enough to get a good amount of equipment in there if they wanted to do a bit of light touring like we did. So having that bungee set up is good and it's in a good place and it's a nice size. We didn't actually do our standard deflection test like we do on all other ice ups with this board because to be honest we haven't done with any other kids ice ups on the market so far because none of them really recommend a rider weight of 75 kilograms which is what we really would put on to do our deflection test but at no point did i think this board was not stiff enough or really flexy as i said it's a very similar construction to the other thurzo boards it's only four inches thick but you can still get a lot of pressure in that board as well so i have no problems and i don't think there's any issues with the actual stiffness of this board as far as deflating and rolling up really quick to deflate push the valve roll the air out to the nose you do find to get the best and the flattest packing it takes a little bit of time to work out where to put the fins in order but if you get them right you can get the board really small and it is easy to get in the bag even if you get it wrong but you can get that board really small and compact and I do like the way it fits in that bag and it's very smart and neat and it will fit in the boot and you could put other stuff on top of it unlike other paddle boards which are a big fat roll which you can't really do much of with so I do like the way it does fold flat and it goes in that bag well. Moving on to the ability and what you're going to use this board for well actually this board is quite an interesting concept compared to other kids ups on the market as I said it's much shorter much wider if you've got any kids that want to do lots of different types of activities and sup this is probably a board to look at, especially if you've got any kids that really want to maybe get into playing in the waves 
or doing a bit of turning, fast turning, a little bit less of, let's say, the long distance touring, which is actually what we used it for because it's not so good at tracking compared to a slightly longer base board. But if you've got any kids that you think are really wanting to get a lot out of doing lots of different things and really enjoy the water in general, then this probably board is going to do a lot and it's definitely going to allow them to do a lot of different sides of our sport. This is probably the first kids sup I've actually seen and thought, this is the board I need to teach Izzy to sup surf with because of the fin setup, because it's nice and stable, and it's still relatively short and compact as well. Ability-wise, it's definitely good for a beginner sup for a kid. Weight-wise, Thursday actually recommend up to 80 pounds. What's that, about 36 kilograms? I would say you'd probably be able to go a lot more than that. Yes, it's going to be a little bit harder to use the heavier you go, but I think if you've got a kid up there at 50 kilograms, I don't think it's going to be a problem to get them on there. As long as they're not too tall, obviously the taller you are, the more stability you're going to want. But then to be honest, it's 30 inches wide. Other information, looking at the warranty, the environmental credibility, information about Thurzo. A lot of you have got Thurzo Surf gear. They are really popular in America. A lot of you have got them and are getting them in Europe and the UK. Unfortunately, there is a lot of boards that are a little bit slower to come over to Europe and the UK. You are not gonna see the Thurzo Prodigies and some of the Expedition boards, for example, in the UK or Europe till March 2022, but in America, you have already got them. So lucky you guys over there. Looking at the warranties of the board, you get a 30 day money back guarantee if you're unsure, you don't like the board and you get a two year warranty after that as well. So any problems with the boards, you can get them replaced, any glues, any issues, anything with a manufacturing problem, get in contact with Thurzo and they will sort that out within two years. We have heard a lot of feedback from you all around the world. You have owned boards, got boards, bought boards again. Generally, you are very happy with Thurzo, so it's nice that we're hearing that feedback. If any of you had any problems, they were also sorted out, so definitely you're getting a lot of backing from Thurzo themselves. Thurzo themselves are a direct sell brand, so you cannot find them in shops. The downside to that is you might not be able to demo or try or even see a board before you buy one. And if there is any problems about the boards, you're obviously going to have to deal with somebody on an email or a phone. But as I said, Thurzo, what we've been hearing, have sorted out any problems with all their boards. So nothing really to worry there. The environmental side of Thurzo and how they package the board is still something that needs to be worked on. They are getting better. There is still a lot of plastic packed around the board when we unpack it, which has to change in the future for sure. But as I said in other Thurzo videos, they are changing that. They're trying to get better with their packaging, their leaflets, their boxing is getting better, but there's still a lot of plastic that needs to change in the future. So still keep on that Thurzo. We want to see that gone for next year. Looking at the stuff we don't like with the board, well, it's not the lightest of boards. It is a heavy duty, hard wearing board because of that, but it isn't as light for other boards of that size on the market. Something to think about if you want a super light board and you have a kid that wants to be really independent and carrying their kit everywhere, then maybe look towards a lighter base board. Another con is the paddle itself is a little bit bulky and heavy and not as refined as we would think it could be for the size of paddlers that the board is aimed at. So having something a little bit more refined as on the blade shape and maybe knocking a bit of weight out of the paddle would be better for those lighter riders. Izzy did happily paddle with this paddle, but it's definitely not as easy and as nice to use as other smaller bladed paddles that we've got. So if you're really into SUP and you're getting your kids really into it, you may want to upgrade their paddle in time, but that's completely up to you and how they get on and get into the sport. To start off with, the paddle's absolutely fine. The only other thing to bear in mind I did say about it is the straight line tracking. This board doesn't track as straight as some other boards because it's got smaller back fins and it's a little bit shorter and wider than some other boards in the market. As I said, Izzy really liked the way it was very easy to maneuver around. So it is a toss up between straight line tracking and maneuverability, but definitely that is one of the cons if you're gonna be wanting to get your child paddling a little bit further and not having to worry about their paddle technique so much. But flipping that into some pros, it's a really nice looking package that looks really good. The price point of the package is really nice to see. I like the way they don't supply it with a pump because a lot of you 
already will have pumps, handles at the front and the back, simple things but really make a big difference. And it's a good overall shape that fits a different sort of board than a lot of other paddle boards in the markets for kids. Definitely if you're into those more adventurous kids that really want to try spinning around, running up and down the board, taking them surfing, they're just getting in and out of the water all of the time, that's probably the board that you should be looking at. So there we go, I hope you found that video interesting and informative and it helps you understand if the Thurzo Surf Prodigy 7.6x30 inches is the right board for your little ones. It is a very nicely well finished off board at a good price point and I think one of the best looking kids sups on the market at the moment. Any questions? If you've used this board, if you've got this board, lucky you, please let us know your thoughts and feedback about all our stuff but of course this board in particular on this comments below this. Thank you very much and we'll see you on another Sup Border video real soon.